I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some excellent questions to prepare you for the test on rational expressions. Here is a thinking and communication question. We are given rational expression 5x minus 17 divided by x square minus 8x plus 7 and we need to rewrite this rational expression as sum or difference of rational expressions. That is to say that we have to write this as a over something let me say C plus B over D so that is how we have to write so sum of or difference of two rational expressions now how do we do that that is all we'll see now we are given 5x minus 17 divided by x square minus 8x plus 7 now we can factor the denominator we need product of 7 and sum of minus 8. So we can write this rational expression as x minus 7 times x minus 1, right? So when you multiply this, you get product of 7 and sum of minus 8. Okay, so that's the denominator and the numerator is 5x minus 17. Now, as you can see, we can write this expression as equal to a over x minus 7 plus b over x minus 1. Now the whole question is to find a and b. So we have already found the two denominators. Now how to find a and b? Well let's cross multiply. So what we get is a times x minus 1 plus b times x minus 7. The denominator is as before, x minus 7 times x minus 1. If we expand the numerator, we get ax plus bx. I'm writing the x terms first, and the constants are minus a and minus 7b, divided by x minus 7 times x minus 1. So if I combine these x terms, what do I get? I get x times a plus b and the constant is minus a plus 7b divided by x minus 7 times x minus 1. Now if you compare these two equations, what do you notice? You notice that the numerator, if a plus b is 5, and a plus 7p is minus is 17 then we get the same result so that should help us to solve for a and b correct so from here what we get really is that a plus b should be equal to 5 right comparing the two equations so what we are trying to do is we are trying to connect these two right we are trying to connect these two so a plus b should be equals to 5 and a plus 7b should be equals to 17, right? So a plus b should be equals to 5 and a plus 7b should be equals to 17, right? Then we get minus sign here, right? Okay, let's solve. So if I take away, let me call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So if I take away 1 from 2, then we get 6b equals to 17 minus 5 as 12 or b equals to 6, correct? So we get equation 3 which is b equals to 6. Now if b is 6, what is a? Since a plus b is 5, so we have a equals to 5 minus 6, right? Which is minus 1. So we get a as minus 1. What I'm trying to say here is, if I substitute a as minus 1, and b as 6 in this equation, it should become equivalent to the given expression. Let's try it out. So, so what we get here is a as minus 1, okay, so it becomes minus 1 over x minus 7, and b as 6, so we get plus 6 over x minus 1. Do you see that? Now, what I'm trying to say is that the expression 6 over x minus 1 minus 
1 over x minus 7 is same as 5x minus 17 divided by x square minus 8x plus 7. And that is how we can write a rational expression as some or difference of the rational expressions. You can subtract these two and check for yourself whether you really get 5x minus 17 or not. Okay, so that is how it should be done. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.